Raids, the final frontier of gaming. Only the most elite and no-life players can possibly hope to clear such intense content. Well, actually, that's not true at all, and I'm going to prove it. I've assembled a team of 10 players with no experience in raids and also happen to have real lives. Together, we shall demolish everything from the entry-level strike missions all the way through to the ultimate Guild Wars 2 encounter, Harvest Temple Challenge Mode. Welcome to the Guild Wars 2 Boot Camp. Today, we'll do a few things that are going to be good. We will do Wing 7 and 6. I have three bosses targeted in mind, in fact, uh, for today that I think we can clear. I think it's realistic to clear three challenge mode bosses today, I believe. Uh, and it's going to be Wing 6 and 7. Uh, is Wing 6 easier than Wing 5 then? Um, some of it is, yeah. The I would say that um, in Wing 6... The first two bosses on challenge mode, not that unhinged. We could even do four. We could even do four bosses today, I think, if we really pop off. Okay, but yeah, wing the first two bosses, not bad. Uh, the final boss of wing six is very challenging, I think. And on wing seven, I would say, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, wing seven, I would say, is easier than wings five and wing six. In fact, wing seven, I, I think, is actually a really good, almost like a beginner wing, right? For for one of the ones we didn't do the the raid wings in like the in order of you know from easy to hardest. That's just not the way we did it. Uh, but wing seven is definitely one of the the easier ones. This is not where we were last time. Yes, <laughs> this is different. We are now doing. Wing oh, no. 7. Skipping content. Yeah, man. we're skipping content. We're mixing it up a little bit. Okay, we're, uh, you know, we're... That's what we're doing. So this is actually yeah, the only that. raid where this is the case, by the way. You can actually choose which boss you tackle first. Um, so there are going to be two bosses. One to the left of us and one to the right of us here. Uh, we're going to do both of them. So it doesn't actually matter. And you have to, to get to the final boss, you have to do both in order to proceed. Um, and they both have their own little pre-event. And the pre-events kind of give you a little bit of a hint as to what the fight actually looks like as well. So that's the good news. Yes. All right, here we go. And yeah, I wanted to mix things up a little bit because um, I, I did... I, I thought it would be good to actually get a lot of bosses killed today. You know, I, I you know we killed one new challenge mode last time. I wanted to see if we could do three or even four uh, today to really get some good progress, right, in terms of the challenge modes. And also just work up a little bit and just get some practice of doing some different mechanics. Uh, because, well, one, we're going to get a whole bunch of loot by doing this. But also, uh, the challenge modes at the end of Wing 5 and the end of Wing 6 are pretty tough, actually. They're, they're quite challenging. So I want to uh, hone our skills and practice our abilities up a little bit before we get to those. I'm actually very tempted to try some of the strike challenge modes first as well. Uh, perhaps the first two strike challenge modes, because those are actually really good. Um, in fact, this is going to be good. You guys love this, right? The second strike uh, challenge mode, the Anka uh, one, that one is like the ultimate keyboard test. It's beautiful. Uh, it's a big keyboard test. Let's go ahead and do this one first. We're going to do this boss over here first. And this is actually a lightning or air themed boss, which is very cool stuff. As we will soon see. And we're going to do it on challenge mode. Uh, don't You know, it's actually... Not too bad. You know, this uh, the challenge modes here are not super difficult. And actually having Scourge here is going to be incredibly beneficial. The challenge mode mechanic that we actually have to deal with here is significantly made easier uh, because we have access to a Scourge. Or maybe even multiple Scourges. Ooh. It's going to be good. I'm not anticipating too much difficulty uh, with these challenge modes. The second one in this wing actually might give us some problems. <laughs> uh, but that, you know, just for a very funny reason, so it's okay. First of all, this is a really CC heavy fight. Um, so on mech, you actually want to take Battering Ram as your uh, kind of extra utility skill. So you want Barrier Signet, Shift, and then personal battering ram I'm and you can still in combat, apparently. oh, oh we we've also fight. started the fight that is okay you know what let's actually get in there because we can learn a few things here okay get in there 
And this is actually one of the very, this is one of the very few bosses where you actually want to stand in front of it um, and get hit by all of its attacks. It's toughness tank, just like all the other ones. But the really important thing here is that you'll notice that you probably have an action key right now. This ability is a teleport, so you can use it to teleport around, but it's also a very powerful crowd control skill. So basically spam your CC and the action key on the boss now in order to break this defiance bar. This boss has absolutely colossal defiance bars. Um, so yeah, you see that orange stuff? That will push you off the platform a little bit. So watch out for that. And see this ad up here? This is actually the challenge mode. Uh, what you can do is just uh, cleave it down. You know, virtuosos do your thing. And also necromancer with epidemic. Although I think our necro didn't have uh, a chance to swap to epidemic because we didn't say that yet. But that's fine. Just put shades on them. Just use your necro abilities. Shades and then Virtuoso's Cleave. At 80%, the boss isn't actually going to phase. And we're going to go on a little mini jumping boss. Don't worry, there's no actual jumping involved. Here we go. Uh, and also, I should say this. This is pretty important, actually. If you go downstate here, you're significantly harder to revive than normal on challenge mode. So all the mechanics here, we have to kind of really respect them. Otherwise, we're going to get owned. Okay, good. Go up, and to get to the next platform, you just kill the whistle and go, see, guys, see that death tornado? Don't touch that. Yeah? <laughs> I, th I think you can figure that one out. Okay, good. <laughs> get the wisp. Good. And up again. Nice. Dude, I, Red, it's actually really hard to do that, by the way, so it, well done. Um, okay, right. Now we have some of the mechanics. See these tornadoes? You'll lose your action key if you touch these. And also, they throw you up in the air. Get ready to do that when I say, and you'll see why. Go up in the air now. Go. Otherwise, that's going to happen. Yeah. So basically, um, yeah, when you see the boss do that, um, the orange attack there, like when it sends out an orange, he, he kind of spins around, right? And then sends out an orange warning wave. Uh, you need to go in the air to avoid that. The good news is we can actually recover and try again. It's very important. And also, you lose the action key, so you can teleport into that. So you can use an action key, okay, to teleport in. So now we CC again. Use as much of our CC as we can. This is going rather well, isn't it? So keep action keying. Okay, good. Just keep action keying again. Remember, there's two adds up, so range DPS, try and kill those if we can. Okay, good. And then a spread. Don't die to the spread, obviously. All right. And then there's going to be a shockwave soon. So get ready to use your action key to teleport into a tornado or walk into one. Whatever is convenient. Okay. Here we go. Go in. Go in. Uh, yeah, just use the action key, Mew. You can just teleport in. Otherwise, you know, the tornado might get away from you. You know, it might escape. We're going to get... A no okay, we need to do a lot better on controlling these ads. So, the range DPS, you guys need to be killing those, right? Otherwise, you know, they're getting a little out of hand right now. But now we have another little intermission phase. That's the good news. Okay, good. Let's go up. And now, it's going to be basically the same deal. So, we're going to have that shockwave attack to deal with. And there's also going to be a coordination break bar. So, a rapidly regenerating break bar that we all have to CC in very... So, go up, go up, go up, go up. We all have to CC in very quickly. We actually survived. Nice. So see this? This is the coordination break bar. Every second, he's going to take less and less damage and do more and more damage. So what we have to do is we have to build up our action key charge and then all use it on the boss at the same time. Otherwise, the break bar just kind of regenerates and, you know, you, you can't really break it, right? So here we go. One thing to note, by the way, if you look at the squad UI, people who have got like a yellow outline have the action key. That's how I'm making this call, by the way. Yeah, don't get hit by the tornadoes, by the way, guys. Otherwise, you lose your action key. So it's actually very important to not do that. Okay, everyone use your action key in three, two, one, go. And then just spam. We need more, we need more, we need more. We got it. And then spread. Deal with those ads, by the way, guys. Keep killing those ads. There's two up. Now there's a giant mega death tornado. Wouldn't worry about it too much. It's quite slow. Just, you know, stay safe. And now we're going into a safe zone. This is a one shot. Go into one of these safe zones. There's two of them, one each other. One of them will always be safe, right? So that's just the way it works. Okay, good. Get over here. There's actually like a slight chance we win here, which will be quite funny, actually. Um, I think we might bail. We're going to run into some difficulty in a moment, but, you know, you never know. It could happen. Uh, okay, so go up again. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Yeah, so it's super important you, you go up there, right? You, you know, you just need to glide into one of those tornadoes. Otherwise, you are going to get owned. Okay, and now we need to move a little bit. So we have the coordination break bar again. Everyone get to me, guys. 
Everyone get to me, because it's really important that we don't get in the... the me if we lose any more people, it's going to get a bit messy, right? We don't want to go in the mega death tornado. Right. Get charged up, and then get ready to CC here. Where are we getting these charges from? The auto attacks, basically, of the boss. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting three, two, charged. one, go. More, 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 more. Good, and then spread. Okay, and then restack. That's right. Restack, restack, restack. So... There, there is something else going on here. You probably noticed there is another platform up, so it's safe zone time. There's another platform up, and this will actually get worse as time goes on. More and more of those wisps will spawn. Um, in the ideal universe, you actually just ignore them and burn the boss. However, that is not looking to be very possible. Although, actually, no, we have to just commit to it, otherwise we are going to run out of time. So, we have to just go for it. We just have to go all in. Okay, now we have to just go mega CC here. So, use everything you've got on the boss. Yep. Okay, good. Tornado. Yeah, don't touch the death tornado, right? That's that's not where you want to be. Uh, I, we're dead. We should GG. We don't have enough time anymore. We have run out of time. It's unfortunate, but it is the way it is. But the good news is, is that we do now understand. So one, Necromancer, Epidemic. You can also, uh, you know, honestly, it's one of those fights where you can just take Flesh Golem as well. But don't do that, because now we have nine people. Um, it's going to be good. We'll drop some food down, and then we win. Should be actually very free, I think. Uh, I think we can actually kill it this try. I believe. Oh. Yeah, the platform was not that big. You will always hit. Epidemic is okay. absolutely oh. colossal. Oh, we also started the fight. Be careful, gamers. All right, that's fine. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, it's it, 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 this is something that you must not do. Uh, don't do that. Uh, I will... Wait, hang on. Let me try and drop a food, actually, because I we don't have a food right now. Okay, healing food! Power food, Condi food, eat. Okay, get ready to CC. Go CC. Yeah, we have zero respect for the boss. I don't, you know, Sabir, big noob. Yeah, full disrespect, zero respect to the boss. Epidemic that ad. Okay, good. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Not even close. Okay, so now we just keep burning the boss down. We're going to have one regular CC bar coming up. Kill the Wisp over there. Kill the Wisp. You do not want to be there, Mew. You're, you're a dead man. Okay, now there's the regular CC. Okay, good. No. CC? No, it's okay. You won't fall off in one go. Try not to get hit by the orange stuff, if you can. And reset your positioning over here. Everyone get over here. You do not want to be in a, in a bad spot here, because that's where things can really get a little scuffed. Okay, good. And just stay here, stay here. Okay, good. The boss is completely immune to damage during loss. Red is off the edge. That's not good. Okay, good. CC. Okay, good. Spread. And hopefully we can win from here. Let's see what we've got, though. This, this actually might get a little bit intense. In fact, it's definitely going to get very intense. <laughs> you know what, though? I like that. You know, I kind of like that it's going to get intense. Safe zone, safe zone. Yeah, get in there. Good. Good. All right, eighteen percent. Make sure those ads die. They're, you know, they're wrecking us. It's fine though. Actually, we have two heal mech. Heal mech is actually really good on this fight. Go up. Do not die here. Go up. Go up. Go up. Oh, that's really bad. Dude, Red is having difficulty. He's, he's not enjoying this mechanic, huh? Okay, yeah, so it's coordination bar. Bear in mind, guys, like, we're one down here. Well, three down even, so we have to really go for it. So you have to use everything you got to CC here. Three, two, one, go. And really go for it, really go for it. We actually got it. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Don't kill each other. Oh, that's, that's extremely not good. Uh, okay, I think we actually don't revive. We just have to commit to the kill here. Like, we aren't going to get those reses. We have a million ads. We just have to try and kill the boss. Get into the safe zone. Get in here. Okay, we have five people. Okay, we could do it though, actually. See the orange shit on the ground? Do not stand in it. Well, yeah. I, I guess, yeah. You're, you're dead, you're dead. We just have to try and commit to this. Basically, the longer this goes on, the more oranges there will be. <laughs> Go up. So, what you're supposed to do... Yeah, we're dead. What you're supposed to do here is go up and kill the wisps. Very rarely worth it, though. Even in this situation, not really worth it. Um, so, here's the thing. Red, action key in. There's no reason not to. If you got to cancel your dragon trigger, once again, you're getting punished for not learning another class. How does it feel? Um, that's, that's the deal. 
just cancel it. If you if that's what you got to do, you're getting punished. Enjoy. Um, other than that, don't die. Don't die to the mega death tornado. All that kind of good stuff. Okay, so here's regular Define Spa. Give it all you got. You can even stow mech here. Stow mech and then drop it down again for even more CC. Okay, get o try to not be near the Omega Tornado, guys, because that's... It's a dangerous place, you know? It's a dangerous place to be. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, you found out the hard way. Get this revival. Okay, we need some reflects up here. This is going to be a little bit pain. Don't be in the orange stuff here. This is going to be a little bit painful. All right, go into the safety zone here. Let's go. Okay, good. Get in there. <laughs> There's so many of them. Okay, we got to kill the boss, guys. we got to kill the boss. Go, kill it. There's probably going to be a one more shockwave, and then we win. Okay, get ready for it. It's going to be very soon. Here it comes. Go. <laughs> Just live. Just don't die. Don't die. Don't die. All right, just kill the boss. We actually don't even care about the CC here. Just kill. He doesn't go invulnerable immediately. Yes! Victory is ours. Very good. Look, look how many wins there are. This is crazy. Ah. This is actually insane. Okay, good. We win. Nice. Oh, GG, our teamwork yeah. gets it done. Go. What a perfect achievement to get at the same time. Wow, and I think we got most of the achievements at the same time as well. Wow. We're so good. There it is. Good job, everyone. Good job, team. Oh, Hooray! We did it! A great sword, apparently. Oh, very good. You have been rewarded. You have the loot. Nice. The Naga Fang. Although, that is actually just a random generic exotic. So, not that good. All right, let's go do the next one. So this is where ah oh, we we actually do kind of want um doing this is actually one of the bosses where doing it with uh, nine people is actually a bit awkward. So you can just uh, walk back to the center or take the layer F back to the center. Okay, perfect. We have ten people. I like that. Uh, now this is actually one of the, <laughs> okay. So let's move in here. This will be very interesting. This is a little tricky uh, for sure, but with a bit of keyboarding, we're gonna be good. We are going to be good. Okay, and we're going to get into this pretty soon, uh, but one more thing. How do we decide what pillar to hide behind? You know, that's a great question. So the way that I like to do it, it sounds complicated, <coughs> but I absolutely promise it is not. Um, me and Cusbeans will go to the... Oh, actually, let me phrase it like this. Imagine that this entire platform is a clock. Right? Imagine like a clock. So here, you know, you've got you got midday, you've got noon, or whatever. Right? Then you're going around to three, then six, then nine, then back to twelve, right? Assign it like this. So me and Cuspeans will always go to the least clockwise pillar. So in other words, let's imagine that we have our pillars set up like this, right? Um, arrow is the least clockwise, right? Because it's the one that's it will be like the lowest hour on the clock, if that makes any sense, from left to right. And then it will be uh, Anvil and uh, Remo going to Circle. Then it will be Makama and Pirate going to Heart. Then it will be Lagnik and Red going to Square. And then finally, it will be Ralph and Mew going to Star, right? That's kind of like how you imagine it. So just imagine like the face of a clock. Um, me and Cuspeans, least clockwise. Okay, um, uh, Rainbow and Anvil, second least clockwise. Um, Makama and Pirate, the middle one, right? Red and Lagnik, the second most clockwise. And finally, Mew and Ralph, the most clockwise. It sounds a little bit complicated, but it's actually very intuitive. And it means that you always know the correct one to go to. There are a few other strategies that Pugs use here, but they're actually a bit weird in my opinion. They're kind of good enough, but this strategy, it always works. You always know where you need to go, um, and you go with the same person every time, right? Which is highly effective in my opinion. Uh, right. There's one more very important thing that we've got to talk about, okay? <laughs> very... Very important. Whenever a pillar gets destroyed, such as right at the start of the fight, there will be a hole in the arena. If you fall into the hole, 
you instantly die. So, everyone, look at the pillar in front of you. I need you all to realize that when this fight starts, <laughs> when the fight starts, it will become a hole and you will instantly die if you fall into it, okay? <laughs> so, whenever you're going out to place a pillar, right? Um, well, so whenever we're going out to hide behind the pillars, it gets destroyed by the boss. You either jump over the hole, if you're feeling a little confident, or left, forwards, right, forwards. Do not run forwards. If you run directly forwards, you're into the hole and it's over for you. Okay, this is the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the key gimmick of the challenge mode here, um, which makes it a lot of fun. All right. So remember, there will. D so the first thing the boss does, by the way, it's going to charge up a doom attack. So wait until the pillars get destroyed before going to the boss, because there's a doom attack first. All right, I'm starting it now. Here we go. So here we go. This is what the attack looks like. See, orange, and then she fires, and then holes, holes, and then to the boss. So behind the boss, and pillars will be coming up very soon. Get ready. So place these backwards. Move out with those pillars. Well, that'll do. Ah, we did stack those. That's not good. Yeah, so as you can see, if you're near the pillar when it forms, you get immobilized uh, and even blinded sometimes. Now, don't look at the boss. You'll get blinded and go behind a pillar. Yeah, we didn't really... Oh, no. Yeah, so... Oh, got me. GG. GG, GG. So, yeah, this is why you need to be really careful with the holes, right? Um, yeah, try to get hit by the shockwave because bad things happen. This is Sabbath the Flamethrower. This is Sabbath the Flamethrower, guys. Sabbath the Flamethrower. Sabbath the Flamethrower. Yeah, I thought that would be a fun surprise. Okay, so we know this. Sabbath the Flamethrower. Okay, and don't be on the orange stuff. You're dead. Now we have an intermission phase. This repeats every 25%. It's not the big deal. So one rock applies a damage debuff. One rock throws... One hand throws rocks at you that uh, knock you off the platform. Jump here. There's a gap. And this is where stability is really good. And the Ventari bubble to block the projectiles. Hands of eruption throw the rocks. Right? Um, and the hands of erosion give you a increased damage debuff. Uh, but guys, we're going to go ahead and actually reset now. And I'm going to tell you why. That's the entire fight. We have seen every mechanic. That's it. Not too bad, right? That's it. Something does happen at 25%, but it's actually irrelevant, and we won't even be doing it. I will explain when we get there, though, just for completeness. Let's go. Okay, don't look at the boss here. You'll get blinded. And it's unremovable blind, bear that in mind, guys. Um, very annoying. Okay, good. Did I told you guys that um, this strat works? Oh, well. Okay, GG. We don't want it. Yeah, remember the holes. <laughs> Um, seriously, claimed more no, nobody does the clockwise strat, but the clockwise strat is so fucking good. It's so easy to understand. It's, it's a bit complicated to explain it almost. It sounds a bit weird, but it's so good. Look how, look at this chat. Look how everyone is doing the pillars correctly. First try. Okay. We're doing think the about pillars that. perfectly. The hole is not so The holes, I mean, the holes, the hole is the challenging part of it to be fair so i'm not super worried about that but yeah remember oh, so just kind of have it like wide in, in your brain right um pillar destroyed there is going to be a hole right in front of me right <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be there so <laughs> pillar destroyed there's a hole in front of me left forward jump right forward do not hop <laughs> this is the one time i'm gonna tell you not to hold w okay that's and that's not gonna happen very often believe me and then go to the boss. Don't be in the orange. Whenever you see an orange, that tile is going to disappear. Right? So if you see an orange, don't stand on it. Okay. Ooh, bit fun. Oh, one's going to get destroyed. Some people are going to die here. Um, that's fine, though. Oh, We're gonna... I... It's okay. Oh, it's, my it's okay. It's okay. What this means is that it just means someone's going to go down state. Uh, but wait. Lagnus went in the hole. I like that. I do. That's. That, I'm, I'm sorry. That's my bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's no, not good enough anymore. GG. So you can't place two pillars next to each other. That's well, you know. can, and there are some times where you want to, but yeah, if they overlap, the one will destroy the other, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. And okay, so here's something else that's really important to think about. Um, think about the hierarchy of failure. Okay. Um, you're gonna fail a mechanic. 
you have two choices. I'm either going to jump and then fall into a hole, or I'm just going to go, you know what? I have failed to make it to the pillar. I am now going to go down state. Pick the down state, right? This is actually a real, this is a very important thing actually in, in gaming is understanding how to fail, right? Like graciously, you know, you know, um, how there's like a technique to falling, right? So you can kind of fall gracefully and not like destroy yourself when you fall over. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is kind of what you need to do in the game. You need to be able to, to fail in the most gracious way possible. <laughs> so so when you're thinking like, okay, I'm probably going to die here. I can't make it. Oh no. Go down state instead of a full death. And because we can just res you. We can always revive you um, in if you go down state. But we can't res you from the dirt. You know, if you're in the sand, there's no helping you. It's over. Uh, however, if you go, okay, I'm not going to make it to the pillar. Fair enough. Hit by the boss. Downstate. Rezzed. Love it. No problem. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Get in there. And yeah. Dude, wait. Look at your mech. Um, Cutspins. What the fuck? <laughs> what is it over there? <laughs> Holy shit. I love that. What is going on here? Wait, I, I, I you, you won't have to shift signal to bring it over here. It's just off the platform, completely in the jungle. That's he actually insane. He doesn't, he doesn't yeah. want to fight. He has decided that's not Yeah, really okay, play. good. So pillars, we can just place these. Someone is dead. Oh. Gee. Someone yeah, holds, I think. Yeah. It is over. Yeah, so this is, um, by the way, teaching us a very important lesson. Uh, this is a lesson that will really help us um, on all encounters, but definitely the harder ones. Um, it is not good enough if you can do a mechanic like 70% of the time. You need to do... You, and it's actually not even good enough if you can do a mechanic 90% of the time. And let me explain why. We have 10 people here. So you might go, wait, if I only fail 10% of the time, that's not the end of the universe, right? And you'd be correct. But what happens when if any of the 10 players that you have also has a 10% failure rate? That means that the failure rate on the entire group is going to massively increase. Um, I think that ends up being something like, yeah, I think that's catastrophic, actually. If everyone has a 10% failure rate and you have 10 people on the team, it ends up being like you're going to be failing way over 50% of the time, right? So in other words, far less than half of your attempts will go anywhere if everyone has a 10% failure rate. Uh, and that's just because numbers, that's how math works. Because think about it, like, if every single time there's a mechanic you'd expect one person to fail it, right? If you have a 10% failure rate, because, you know, it's a one in 10 on 10 people, so you expect one person to fail. Think how absolutely terrible that is, right, um, in, in context. And this is why I often bring up consistency, as it will refood, by the way, before the next attempt. Um, consistency is so important. Like, if you're thinking, like, oh, man, I get this, like, nine out of 10 times, just bear in mind, if everyone was like you, someone would die every single time, right? You need to be going, okay, I am never going to fail this mechanic. I am 99% sure that I'm not going to fail this mechanic, right? This is super important. Uh, also, I'm going to refood. Come back to the front. Uh, by the way, on uh, that um, flamethrower there is actually a challenge mode mechanic. Uh, on normal mode, it only has two ends. So in other words, it's not like a triple thing. So it's significantly easier on normal mode. Uh, that You might think, whoa, that seems like a hard mechanic. And you'd be correct. It is a little bit of a hard mechanic. But we only do the challenge mode. Don't touch the orange and go back to the boss. I don't even know what normal mode is. Get that revive. Watch the People holes. The wrong color. Yeah, it's okay. Um, okay, pillar. I'll destroy this one. We should just be able to get the phase after this, though. Okay, go back in. Ooh, those might be on top of each other. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just uh, it's probably gonna phase here. This is a bit of a weird timing. It's gonna phase. It's gonna phase. So don't touch the beams, and just run round. Remember, we're gonna run towards the south here. Afterwards, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Just keep running around, keep running around, keep running around. Okay, and here we go. Just keep running, keep running. Don't be on the orange. And don't rush here, don't rush. We're very chill. 
It's a bit, I know it's a bit scary, but you just gotta just <laughs> keep it nice and slow and you'll be fine. Okay, the hand. Get ready for the Ventari bubble and then put it on us as we go across. Put it in the middle of the little passageway here and then we can run into it. Stay and then go. Because you want to be watching the hand to see if it's going to fire rocks at us. Okay. Then tank, get ready to go back to the boss. Go back to the boss. Let's go. Watch those holes. And it's going to be pillars again. Same thing. Nothing new. There's a slightly different platform, as you can see. But that's fine. Okay, get back in. Yeah, slightly uh, unusual placement, but... We deal with it. Get ready to hide. It is hiding time. Let's go. Okay, looks like it mostly worked out. Yep, there we are. Get back in there. Remember, just be very slow and safe. Very slow and safe here. And then pillars once again. Pillars. Uh, that should probably work out. Yeah, that will... Uh, oh, we got the phase. We got the phase. I'm cleansing you of the immobilize. And we can stay on the center here, guys. So you can just shuffle around in this little central section. Careful. Don't go too oh. close to the center. You will die. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And just keep shuffling around. Right. Now, there's one really fun part here. There's going to be a gap between the different sections here. So there's a bit of jumping involved. It's okay, though. We'll be fine. Try and use stability and have the reflect bubble up as we're crossing to the other side. So drop some stability about now if you can. And there's going to be a jump here, guys. So jump and then jump again. You can do it. Oh, okay. Well, ooh. Yeah. I mean, jumping is... It can be difficult. Yeah. The jumping has... It has been a challenge. That is okay, though. Yeah. Okay. We, I think we still have a pretty good shot of actually killing this, though. So... Good luck, guys. Yeah, one person needs to merge uh, with me here. We'll we'll have one damage, which is fine. So someone needs to merge with me. Okay, so someone just come and drop one on me. Okay, I got it. So everyone else, go normal. Don't merge two. Okay, we merged two. Okay, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, that's actually in catastrophically bad death. Uh, but you have sacrificed yourself, so none of us will die to the pillars now. It's okay, just go behind. You're gonna have to, oh, yeah, get that res. Tank, go back to the boss as quick as you can. So the extra mechanic below um, the health threshold here is that ex basically extra hands start to spawn and will give us down, kind of put in like a soft and rage. Pillars out, guys, pillars out. Lagnik, no! You guys can't just ignore the pillars. Oh, that's still doable. It's doable. Okay, get ready to hide. All right, here we go. Should be okay. I like that port. That's huge. Tank, just reposition. We'll get the res here. Okay, we have to destroy a lot of these. If you get a, a pillar, guys, make sure you destroy another one. This is awkward as fuck, but it's fine. Okay, I like how we're, we're just memeing at this point. That's good. It's better to be memeing than to be feeding, I think. All right, I will save you, friend. Okay, get ready to hide. Okay, this is a bit scuffed. Uh, what you should actually do here is kind of rotate the boss a little bit so you can give us some more room. So tank on circle. And then we place behind the boss, guys. Behind the boss. So place these behind the boss, so in the direction that I'm going now. What's up? What's up? Almost leaped up into the sand. Yeah, that can happen. I think we actually have a pretty good chance of getting this done. Okay, get ready to hide. And stick to the same rule, remember. Stick to the clockwise rule. It makes it very easy to understand where you're supposed to go. Oh. Okay, and just get back in. It's just 4%, guys. It's just 4%. Like, we're fine. We're fine. We have both healers left alive. It's not a problem. Okay, pillars. Why is my mech over there? <laughs> I don't know. You know, the mech is on the hand. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. We. It's 1%. How bad can it be? Okay, get ready to hide behind pillars. Okay, this is gonna get a bit questionable. Okay, get in there. We just need we just need to kill the boss, guys. Holy shit. Okay. It's two percent, come on. DPS, go. Please attack. We need your damage right now. 
I'm the boss. Do your thing. Oh my god, someone dropped a pillar directly on the boss, but we did still win anyway. Oh. Okay, like. <laughs> that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was clean. <laughs> totally planned. Totally planned. Yeah. Oh, I left on accident. Victory is ours. Okay, you know, I mean, that's, that's something. But that is actually a really uh, good lesson and a good thing to understand. So, in situations like that, um, most people will panic, flail around, and do nothing. And we successfully did not do that. So, good job, team. Uh, a, a lot of the times, you can get some really good practice in and see more of fights and even kind of clutch out a kill. If you stay calm, you keep playing the game, and you persist. And we have succeeded in doing that, and therefore, I am pleased. Uh, that will be it for Wing 7, by the way. Um, we are not going to do any more Wing 7. Uh, the, I'm not the, by the way, the final boss isn't that hard, actually. Uh, we definitely could do it. Uh, but honestly, it's not my favorite boss. Uh, and it's a massive clusterfuck. And it's one that you need a lot of special roles for that we'll have to kind of organize ahead of time, right? Some specific builds that we need. Um, and we don't have that right now. It would be annoying. Um, but it's actually not that hard. We could easily do it, um, to be honest. it's That's not why we're not doing it. It's because... Uh, I just don't think it'll be that good. Uh, so we go to wing six. Let's go. But yeah, I mean, another two CMs down already, Capers. Oh, yeah. We're on fire. Huge. This game's easy. This game is easy. easy. Right, Hi. wing six CMs. I believe so, um, we can do at least the first boss. Um, this is the... Um... Sword one, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is the sword one. Also something to do with swords. It is. It is indeed to do with swords. I'm not sure if we're doing the second boss. And weirdly enough, I'm just not sure that we have the DPS for it. Like, our DPS is still very questionable. Um, But that is okay. We'll maybe have a go. So, that'll do it for now. Uh, I will put two markers here. So, I need some volunteers. Who wants to be a sword collector and a shield collector? I guess I uh, don't mind. Okay. I can do it. All right. Okay. In that case, Cuspins, you will be the shield collector. And who was the sword collector? Who was the sword collector? Uh, Ralph. Ralph, you yes, are the Ralph. sword collector. Okay. So when we kill one of the arms, something will happen. Uh, Ralph, do you want to go to arrow? Cuspins, you want to go to circle-ish, uh, kind of. Not exactly, but that kind of area. And we'll we'll see that when we get there. Let's go. Oh, and also, Virtuosos take her feedback as well. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see about that in a moment. All right. Let's go! So here comes the arm. Get ready for the arm. You can block this or dodge this. Okay, so here you go. Hit the arm. Right. And there are swords. So kill these swords. Get them. And then you'll see that you have an action key. Wait until the arm slams down again. And then use them on the arm. Okay, so use them on the arm. Shields are going to get thrown out. You'll see they have defiance bars. So break the defiance bars on the shields and then kill the shields. If a sword and a shield touch each other, they will merge. Also, if you have a shield action key, don't use it yet. So we're going to get more swords now. So kill those swords and keep attacking the arm. So the boss is now going to clap. We need to use a shield to survive this. So I've got a shield. So everyone stand in the shield. Otherwise, you will get one shot. Not good. Pick up the sword and then use them on the arm. And it's very important that we burst pretty hard on the arm because we want to get to these burn phases as quick as we can. So now it's going to be Ralph, Arrow, Cuspin, Circle. And then, can you see the green orbs? Pick up the green orbs. If any of the shields get in, that happens. And you can just be attacking the boss right now, by the way, guys. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you can't now because the boss has an invulnerability shield, but yeah. I'm way too slow for this. Um, you aren't, actually. Um, but uh, it's a little bit of practice will be required. So now use sh uh, swords on the boss. If you have swords, use them on the boss. And now we need a shield to survive this death laser. Although we are going to die no matter what, I think. Yeah. Because basically, if swords get in, the boss does more damage. And if a shield gets in, the boss gets an omega shield. And we can't damage it. And in fact, even has retaliation. And we will kill ourselves by attacking the boss. You can actually recover from this. As you can see, we could self-res, but we're not going to. We're going to reset. So basically, here's the deal. 
The shields are a little green orb, and they've got a white outline. The swords are just green orbs without the white outline. So, Ralph, you're getting the little green ones without the white border, without the white glow around them, the outline. And Cuspeans, you get the ones that are green with the white outline, because those are the shields. The shields always start spawning at about circle. The swords always start spawning at about arrow. Um, they kind of cross over, so don't get lost in the source, right? Because you can only pick up a shield or a sword. You can't have shields and swords at the same time. That wouldn't make any sense. Okay, here we go. Kill the arm. Use uh, swords on the arm if we have any. We're just trying to kill the arm, actually. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got it. So again, everyone goes to star to just hit the boss. And then we have collectors. And just stay close to the center, right? Because think about it. You know, if you're close to the center, you'll be able to pick them. Okay, we missed a shield. Make sure you touch that. You have to touch the shields, oh. Cuspins. You are not touching the shields in any universe. Um, yeah. Is, is it possible I still had a shield, shield so I couldn't pick up the swords? Yeah. Um, it is, yes. You might want to use that. Okay, the bad news is we completely failed on the um, on the shields, which is, uh, which is not ideal. Use any shields that you have now, though. This is going to fucking hurt. Holy shit. Oh, we actually do live. That's the good news. And uh, we actually can continue. The bad news is we we did not get any swords, um, which was a little bit pain. Yeah, sorry. But that is okay. Yeah, you didn't get a single one. Holy shit. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't know it was on both sides. And I uh, had a shield, so I wasn't picking them up. Um, I mean, we, I think we actually have to reset. We do. The swords have won, unfortunately. Yeah, so if you do have a shield, just activate it real quick and then go pick up the swords. Get in there. We have been destroyed. Um, can mm -hmm. I propose that I maybe um, somebody takes off my rogue since I'm nope. struggling with learning to reaper? Nope. Okay. <laughs> you have signed up. You are now committed. This is good. This is a good. <laughs> this is an opportunity for growth. And you know what? I like that. So, sorry, these swords and shields that they're getting when the army is destroyed, they're different from the ones that come down while we're fighting the army. Well, the, the acquisition method is different, uh, actually. Um, so, the the way you pick them up. Basically, we pick them up from killing them, and they're collecting little green orbs. So, it's kind of... It's the same ability, the same mechanic, mm. but the, the way you get the action key is a little bit different. Okay, and when it goes all bullet hell... Oh, Most of us are just you don't even that. you don't even give a shit about that. Yeah, only the collectors. Right, so it's care. only Cuspins everyone. And yeah, Ralph yeah. Only everyone else. You're going to start and you're hitting the boss. However, if you okay. see the boss get a shield, don't attack. Otherwise, you'll die. Retaliation. Uh, you will yeah. get owned, and that's not good. All right, three, okay. two, one, go. Collect those orbs. Good. Very nice. Yeah, use swords on the boss. It'll make it take way more damage. Good. There are actually a few swords just up, so we'll have some spares. The good news is now you can use swords on the boss, Ralph. Oh, look at that. Ten stacks. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Use the shields. And we burn the boss hard. Let's go. Now, what you want to do is get it to 50% here, because there's kind of some kind of hard locks on how fast the boss can die. If you get it to 50% here... Uh, then the boss will basically just move on to the next phase immediately. And here we're actually on the good timing. If we get this level of DPS again, uh, that will actually really help us. Because we won't have to do any kind of shenanigans with shields and stuff. It just, it, the, the entire thing just becomes way easier. It's one of those weird bosses. Get ready for... Uh, I think... Wait, I think it's on Cuspins. Do you have a beam of light over your head? Yeah, you do. Okay, move... No, no, don't... No, no, don't... Don't run away. Don't run away. Okay, if you run away there, basically where those beams work is they kind of focus you down. If they all hit you at the same time, they kill you very, very quickly and then you die without down state. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit spooky, but you can reflect it. All right, so kill these shields. Get rid of these shields. There's a warrior that's going to form. Okay, there's a warrior up. Uh, I'll actually put a shield down to repel it. Just try and kill that thing. Okay, good. And then hit the arm. Use swords if we have any. And then make sure all the shields are... Oh, oh, do we have the bug? Yeah, there's the invincible shield over there. I, I like that. That's good. It's gone now, though. Sometimes this fight bugs out and a shield just becomes untargetable, but just stays there anyway. It's, uh, it's mildly amusing. Okay, good. Then go to the center here. Go to the center on star. Okay, there's going to be a warrior moving in. Just make sure that we cleave it. Okay. Just make sure that we when it moves in, just hit it, pretty much. Hit it very hard. Keep collecting. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going. Look at that collection. We're so good at this. We're actually insane. 
Okay, and now you use swords. Don't use shields. Don't use shields. Use swords. And just burn. Just burn. Get it to 25. Alright, good, yeah. So see here. Now we're gonna now his arms are gonna come back. Whoa! Holy shit, look at those arms! And now get ready to use the shields. Use the shields now. And we'll survive. Now he'll actually slam both of his arms down, but that's not super relevant. We just need to kill one of them. Uh, so just kill this arm here. And there's going to be a reflect up. I think it's on... Who is it on? I think it's on Lagnik, I think, actually. I, I think yeah, it's, it's on me. Yeah. When... yeah. Uh, just stay here. Just stay here. Kill the, Stay on the same side and just kill the arm that we're focusing on here. Get the res here. Okay. Good. And then it's just the... Re uh, now it's collection. Just go for the... It's a bit chaotic, but it's the same thing. Just get that collection. Go and collect. Try not to miss the shields here. It's a bit annoying because, um, it's you know, the, the, the arm is kind of in oh your way, God. but I get you. Okay, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. We're totally fine here, guys. We're doing a great job. Keep it up, team. Okay. All right. This is going to be fucking painful. But you know what? We just muscle it. Hit the boss. Come on. Let's go. Use the swords. And then use shields. Pump the boss. And there it is. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad, Listen right? To Not too bad. That's easy. Yeah. And that, was, uh, that, one's, uh, that one's quite, you know, quite a cozy boss, I'd say. <laughs> Handheld disaster. Oh, that's weird. Well, I actually got something similar. I got the I got gear ball, the pistol. Well done, team. Very good, very good. We absolutely love to see it. Boot camp. We have defeated three challenge modes today. That's pretty good. So let's actually think about this. Um we need to do Doom CM, Kadim CM. Kadim 2 CM and Lagos. We have four more raid challenge modes and we've done them all. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff indeed. I love to oh, see yeah. it. You never you never told us what the challenge mode was. Well, uh, what do you think it was? That's is it about the beam bouncing back? That... Is it doing two sweeps? Yeah. <laughs> is the is the, the region of the hands? Wow, yeah, it's actually the uh, laser beam scepters is the challenge mode. Oh, so the, the reflect thing. Yeah, the reflect thing, yeah. And also, uh, the boss fire... This is a very weird thing to put on the challenge, but it fires out more swords and shields. So in some way, it kind of gets easier because you have more utility, right? You have more abilities to use. It's a slightly unusual... It's a weird challenge mode, yeah.